Hi guys, today what I'm going to be showing you is how to repair an old ex extension cord. So you see this, what happened, that blade came out? Okay, so instead of taking this cord and throwing it in the trash, what I'm going to be doing is putting a cord cap, a straight blade, on it. So this is a 15 amp, 125 volt, straight blade, cord cap. So here we go, let's get into it. So what you're going to need to do this is a Phillips screwdriver, strippers, and a marker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start by pulling this out just like this, okay? And what I start with usually to make this easier is see these screws right here, this clamp that holds it down? Just make sure that this is kinda of loose and it's not too tight. So I'm just gonna back it out a little bit here to make it easier, just like that, okay? And these screws, what I'm gonna do next is see the screws on our terminals here? Okay, just make sure that these are loose. See right there? So what I do is I just make sure that I can't see the screw. You don't wanna take them too far out. To where you take the screw all the way out but what I'm doing is I'm just gonna make that easier when I go to put my wire in there okay so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the cord cap body just like that and I'm gonna slide it in okay so see how I'm doing that so I got room to slide it okay so if you could see down there inside that cord cap body right there I'm just gonna take that to the bottom see I'm gonna take my finger and I can feel it it's almost right on the screws okay so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my marker and I could look at it and just strip it, but this is for the people at home that are doing this for the first time, just to make it a little more easier on you. So what I'm gonna do now is just push this through. Don't take this off, just leave it on if you can. And just give yourself enough room to work so you're not fighting it. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and score the insulation, okay? So what I like to use is a pair of strippers. Some guys will use, uh, uh, razor knife you know to strip them and that's fine help whatever your preference is but me I, I like to use strippers you know so see how I'm doing that I'm just gonna take it around and what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take that cheating and I'll pull on it see how I did that just like that and what I did is I took it off so see if you score that wire do it again because you don't want these touching if you, you could see bare wire that's not good and hopefully you have enough cord to do that and you could redo it. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and strip my wire. So I would always suggest getting a good pair of strippers, you know, just to make it easier on yourself. And what I'm going to do next is just, I'm going to spin this wire just like that. See what I'm doing? Okay. And see the next one here, my neutral. I'm just going to take the sheathing off just like that, the insulation. Okay. And now I'm going to do my green, my ground, just like that. Okay. So there we go. Just like that. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to spin those wires and get them nice and tight. Just like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my straight blade like that. And what I'm going to do is just probably start with the, that one right there, my white. So see what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take those in nice and slow. And see how I'm doing that? You just can barely see the wire that's there. So my white is gonna go to my silver screw. You see that right there? And I like to use a regular screwdriver so I can fill it when I'm tightening it down. So see, I can fill it, you know, tighten down. Some guys like to use a drill or, you know, an impact or whatever, but I like to feel what I'm doing so I know that it's good. And so next, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my ground and I'm gonna go ahead and take it down just like that, okay? So here we go, just like that. So there we go, again, see? My wire's barely sticking out there. So, here we go. I'm just gonna tighten that down, just like that. Okay. All right, that one's done. So last but not least, we have is our hot. So I'm just gonna make sure that my wires are all kind of straight and they're not wrapped around each other, because you don't want that. You want them all kind of going in. You know what I mean? Nice. So, here we go, here's my last one, okay. So see how I'm doing that? I just push that in there and it looks good. You got a barely a little bit of wire sticking out. Okay, so I'm, putting, I'm tightening that. So you see how I did that? Black to the brass screw, okay? And then my white went to my silver screw. And then last but not least, see my green wire? It went to my green screw right there. And what I'm gonna do is kind of center these up. See how I'm gonna grab the insulation like that? See how they're all nice and even? They're not wrapped around each other or anything? Okay, you don't want that. Now I'm gonna take the body of the cord cap and I'm gonna pull it up just like that. Okay, most cord caps have these little tabs on them and you can tell and you'll look on the body and you know 
when you spin it around, you're gonna know where it is and just line those up. That's all you gotta do. So I could see it right there. And I know that it's gonna go right there. See what I'm doing? Now I'm gonna seat the blades inside the body. So see how I did that? I just seated it. Okay, on these screws, just make sure that you barely start them because you don't want this going sideways on you. So see how I can feel those starting? Okay, now I'm just gonna start my next screw just like that, okay? I got it, okay, now I got my next one. Okay, I know I'm good, now I'm gonna start tightening them down. Just like that, I'm gonna snug them up, okay? All the way, there we go, we're snug on that one, okay? Now I'm gonna do the next one, just like that. I'm gonna spin it, spin, spin, spin. It's snug, okay, that's tight. Now, you know, that that's all done, you know you're good. Uh, see why I did it like that? You don't want the wire strip back to be out here. You want all the wire to be protected. It just as if it was a factory uh, cord cap straight blade like this. So see how I did that? So all the insulation is inside this cord cap body and it's all protected. See, you want this. You want that protection on the sheathing. See like that? So last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down my clamp just like that right there. So here we go. I'm just gonna tighten down the last one. God, these are making noise as usual. So, oh well. So, see how I did that? So that's it guys. So instead of taking this cord and throwing it away, I have a good cord. See what I mean? So this cord is good for another 10, 15 years. And I hope you guys like these little videos. Subscribe and like if you do and have a good day guys. Thank you, bye.